What if I told you that right now, someone could be systematically trying thousands of password combinations on your online accounts? And what if I told you those attempts never stop day or night until they break in? But here's the most alarming part. Your secure password might be cracked in minutes if it's among the billions of leaked passwords circulating on the dark web. Welcome back to Tech Sky. Today, we're exposing one of the most persistent and dangerous attack methods in cybersecurity, brute force attacks. I'll demonstrate exactly how attackers systematically break into login systems using automated tools that never stop guessing until they find the right combination. More importantly, you'll learn how to protect your accounts from these relentless digital assaults. Before we begin, I need to make something absolutely clear. Everything demonstrated in this video is strictly for educational purposes only. The knowledge you're about to gain comes with significant responsibility. Understanding brute force techniques is crucial for recognizing and defending against these attacks, but using these methods to target actual people or systems is not only unethical, but illegal in most jurisdictions worldwide. All our demonstrations today will be performed on our own testing website, specifically designed for security education. We will not be targeting any real login systems or attempting to gain unauthorized access to any accounts. Today's video is comprehensive and packed with detailed information, so grab your notebook. We're going to cover everything from setting up brute force tools, to creating effective word lists, and seeing just how vulnerable weak passwords can be. Imagine an army that never sleeps, never gets tired, and never gives up. This army doesn't use weapons or explosives. It uses patience and persistence. Every second of every day, Thousands of these digital soldiers are hammering away at login pages across the internet. Brute force attacks are exactly what they sound like, using raw computational power to systematically try every possible password combination until the correct one is found. While a human might give up after a few attempts, these automated tools can try millions of combinations without breaking a sweat. What makes these attacks particularly dangerous is their evolution. Modern brute force tools don't just try random passwords. They use sophisticated word lists containing billions of real passwords leaked from data breaches, common patterns people use, and intelligent algorithms that predict likely variations. The most frightening part? These attacks often succeed not because of advanced hacking skills, but because people still use predictable passwords like password123 or their pet's name followed by their birth year. Today, I'll show you exactly how these attacks work, using our own testing environment to demonstrate the techniques that could be targeting your accounts right now. Let's start by preparing our Kali Linux environment. Open your terminal and run sudo apt update to refresh our package lists and check for the latest software information. After that completes, run sudo apt upgrade to install any available system updates. When prompted, Type Y to continue. This ensures our system has the latest security patches and software versions. Now let's check if Hydra is installed on our system. Hydra is one of the most powerful brute force tools available, and it comes pre-installed with Kali Linux. Type Hydra in your terminal. You should see the text color change, indicating the command is recognized. To learn more about Hydra's capabilities, run Hydra-H and press Enter. Hydra is a parallelized login cracker that supports numerous protocols and services. It can attack over 50 different protocols, including HTTP, HTTPS, FTP, SSH, Telnet, and many others. What makes Hydra particularly powerful is its ability to perform multiple simultaneous attacks, significantly speeding up the brute force process. For today's demonstration, We'll be using our own target website specifically designed for security testing. Open your web browser and navigate to ctf.techskyhub.com. You'll see a login page that's hosted by TechSky specifically for educational purposes. This is a fully functional login system where you can practice brute force techniques safely and legally. Let me show you how it works. If I enter incorrect credentials, you can see it displays invalid. 
this is the typical response for failed login attempts. However, if I enter the correct credentials, it brings us to a dashboard page. This is a dummy dashboard and admin panel website created solely for testing and practicing brute force attacks. Having a dedicated testing environment like this is crucial for learning these techniques ethically and legally. Before we can launch our attack, we need to prepare our ammunition. Word lists containing usernames and passwords to try. This is arguably the most important step in any brute force attack, as the quality of your word lists directly determines your success rate. Let me show you several methods for creating effective word lists. The first method uses the built-in word lists that come with Kaylee Linux. These are curated collections of common passwords and usernames gathered from real-world data breaches and security research. Navigate to the word list directory by typing cd slash usr slash share slash word lists and then run ls to see what's available. You can see several word lists here. Let's examine one by running catfasttrack.txt. This displays a collection of commonly used passwords. While this list is relatively small, it contains passwords that are frequently used in real environments. We also have access to the famous RockU word list, which contains over 14 million passwords from the RockU data breach. This is one of the most comprehensive password lists available for security testing. To use RockU, we first need to extract it. Run sudo gunzip rockyou.txt.gz to decompress the file. Once extracted, you can view its contents with catrockyou.txt. As you can see, this list is extensive and contains passwords that real people actually used, making it incredibly effective for brute force attacks. The second method involves creating custom word lists when you have some knowledge about your target. For this, we use a tool called Crunch which generates all possible combinations based on specific criteria. Let's create a custom word list with the command crunch 68 abc 123 exclamation mark o pass dot txt. This command creates passwords between six and eight characters using the characters a, b, c, one, two, three, and exclamation mark. As you can see, crunch shows us the file size will be 56 megabytes with over 6 million password combinations. For complex passwords using many different character sets, these files can grow to terabytes in size, making this method practical only for targeted attacks where you have some knowledge about the password pattern. Once generated, you can view the contents with catpass.txt to see the systematic combinations Crunch has created. The third method is particularly clever, using OSINT, open source intelligence, to gather information about your target and create targeted word lists. This involves researching the target's social media profiles, websites, and public information to guess likely passwords. For website-based OSINT, we can use a tool called CEWL, Custom Word List Generator. Let's run CEWL-D2-Wwords.txt https colon slash slash ctf dot this command crawls the website to a depth of two levels and extracts all words, saving them to words.txt. These words might be used in passwords, especially if they're related to the organization or individual. View the results with catwords.txt. While our test site doesn't yield many useful words, this technique is incredibly effective when used against social media profiles or company websites, where people often incorporate familiar terms into their passwords. The fourth method involves using tools like the Harvester for Reconnaissance to gather email addresses and other information that might be used in passwords. I've created a dedicated video about the Harvester. You can access it through the info card. Another approach is using breached data word lists. These contain real passwords from actual data breaches and are often available through security research repositories. While some malicious versions exist on dark web forums, Legitimate security researchers maintain clean versions for ethical testing. One excellent resource is SecLists on GitHub. Search for SecLists, and you'll find a comprehensive repository containing word lists for various testing scenarios. You can install SecLists directly in Kali using sudo apt install SecLists, or explore the GitHub repository to see the available categories. 
There are dedicated folders for passwords and usernames, each containing specialized word lists for different attack scenarios. The most modern method involves using AI for word list generation. Tools like ChatGPT can create targeted password lists based on specific criteria or patterns you provide. For example, generate realistic password combinations for a tech CTF admin panel based on TechSky 2025 using patterns like username plus year, brand plus symbol, camel case, etc. Proper prompt engineering can create highly targeted word lists that significantly improve your success rate. For today's demonstration, I've prepared two simple word lists to speed up our process. Let me create them now. Run touchusers.txt to create our username word list and touchpass.txt for our password list. Now I'll populate these files with sample data. In users.txt, I'll add common usernames like admin, administrator, tech sky, ctf, and guest. In pass.txt, I'll include common passwords with one correct password hidden among them. I'll provide these word lists in the description below so you can follow along with the exact same data. Now that our word lists are ready, let's launch our brute force attack using Hydra. The command structure for web-based attacks requires specific formatting to tell Hydra how to interact with the login form. Before we build our command, we need to understand the form parameters. Let me show you how to discover these. First, go to our website at ctf.techskyhub.com. Right-click anywhere on the page and select View Page Source or press Ctrl plus U on your keyboard. Now scroll through the HTML code and look for the form tag. You'll find something like form method equals post. This tells us the form uses the post method. Next, find the input fields inside the form. You'll see something like input type equals text, name equals username, and input type equals password, name equals password. The name attributes, in this case, username and password, are crucial. They tell us the exact field names we need to use in our Hydra command. An easier way to find these is by right-clicking directly on the username field in the login form and selecting Inspect to open the browser's developer tools. From there, you can see the field names clearly. Now let's build our Hydra command step by step. Start with the base command. Simply type Hydra. Then add the username word list by typing dash lusers.txt. This tells Hydra to load usernames from the file named users txt next add the password word list by typing dash p pass dot txt this tells hydra to use the file pass dot txt for passwords now specify the target website which in our case is ctf dot then define the service type since this is an https login form using the post method we type https post form now comes the most important part, the form parameters. Hydra expects these in a specific format. Path colon form parameters colon failure condition. First, the path. Looking at our website, the login form is on the main page. You can use either slash or slash index.php. We'll use slash index.php. Next, the form parameters. We need to specify how Hydra will submit the username and password. From our form inspection, we know the fields are named username and password, so we write username equals correct, user correct, and password equals correct, pass correct, where correct, user correct, and correct, pass correct are placeholders that Hydra will replace with values from our word lists. Finally, the failure condition. This tells Hydra what response to look for when a login fails. We can find this by entering incorrect credentials on the website and observing the error message. In our case, the page shows invalid username or password. Please try again when the login fails. So we'll use that as our failure condition. Press enter to run the attack. Hydra will now systematically try every combination of usernames and passwords from our word lists. Watch as Hydra works through the combinations. When it finds the correct credentials, it will display them clearly on the screen. As you can see, it discovered that the username is admin, 
and the password is secretpass123. This demonstrates just how quickly even a basic brute force attack can succeed against weak login credentials. Hydra offers several additional parameters that make attacks more effective and provide better feedback. For example, adding dash V, verbose mode, shows every combination being tested in real time. We can also save successful results to a file using the dash O parameter. Add dash O credentials.txt to save any discovered credentials to a file. If you already know the username but need to find the password, you can use lowercase l instead of capital L to specify a single username. This focuses the attack on a specific user account, which is often more efficient in targeted attacks. Hydra includes many other parameters for handling rate limiting, session management, and different protocols. Run Hydra-H to explore all available options for more advanced scenarios. Now that you understand how brute force attacks work, let's discuss how to protect yourself and your systems. The most effective defense is using strong, unique passwords. Avoid dictionary words, personal information, and common patterns. Instead, use long passwords with a mix of uppercase, lowercase, numbers, and symbols. Enable two-factor authentication wherever possible. Even if attackers crack your password, they'll still need the second factor to access your account. Implement account lockout policies that temporarily disable accounts after several failed login attempts. This makes brute force attacks much slower and more detectable. Use rate limiting to restrict the number of login attempts from a single IP address within a specific time period. Monitor login logs for unusual patterns, such as rapid fire login attempts or attempts from unusual geographic locations. Consider using CAPTCHA systems after failed login attempts to prevent automated tools from continuing their attacks. For web applications, implement proper session management and consider using web application firewalls that can detect and block brute force patterns. Keep your systems updated and use intrusion detection systems that can identify and respond to brute force attacks in real time. Most importantly, educate users about password security and provide tools like password managers to help them create and maintain strong, unique passwords for all their accounts. Today, we've seen the relentless nature of brute force attacks and how they can systematically break through weak defenses. From basic dictionary attacks to sophisticated AI-generated word lists, these techniques continue to evolve and improve. What makes brute force attacks particularly dangerous is their persistence. While a human attacker might give up after a few failed attempts, these automated tools will continue trying for days, weeks, or even months until they succeed or are stopped. Remember, the knowledge shared in this video is meant to help you understand these threats and protect against them, never to cause harm. Always operate within legal and ethical boundaries. If you found this demonstration valuable for your security journey, smash that like button right now. It really helps the channel reach more people who need this critical information about password security. Hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss our latest security insights and tutorials. Consider becoming a channel member by clicking the join button info card above. Share this video with friends, family, and colleagues who might benefit from understanding these password attack methods. The more people understand these threats, the better we can all protect ourselves. Drop a comment sharing your thoughts on password security or suggesting what security topic you'd like me to cover next. Your feedback directly influences our upcoming content. Remember, in cybersecurity, knowledge is your best defense, but with knowledge comes responsibility. Until next time, stay curious, stay ethical, and keep learning. This is Tech Sky, signing off.